my Facebook. Now, so this is Facebook, and I, I, uh, these were some that I wanted to show you. So this is um, here. I was at Ag Day, and uh, I wanted to show you how I approached somebody. I, I had asked Sue off camera if I could uh, film her, and she was like, "Great." So this was just sort of a sneak peek. So we'll take a look at that. We're live. Okay. Hi, everybody. We are at the University of Delaware. It's Ag Day 2016. Officially starts at 10 o'clock, but the um, greenhouses here on campus are hopping, and we are here with uh, Dr. Sue Barton. Uh, Dr. Barton, welcome to Ag Day. Tell us what's going on here today. Well, here we are at the plant sale. It's an annual sale. And uh, it's super fun. We have fabulous plants. These are plants, some of which have been bought in, some of which have been propagated here. They're on the more unusual side. So they're not necessarily things that you could find at a typical garden center. So if you want to experiment with your garden, this is the place to come. Um, we have lots of great volunteers, master gardeners, UDBG friends, faculty who are um, here ready to help you and give you advice on what to buy. Uh, we have a greenhouse that's full of... Okay, so that goes on for another minute and a half or so, but what I did there was, um, you saw, I panned away from her while she was still talking. Um, nobody likes to be on camera that close up that long, so I, I did pan around and I did it later too when she was talking. Kept close to her so I wouldn't lose her sound, but this was just an idea. Uh, to, just to kind of let people know what was going on and, and most of the views quite honestly we had about nine or ten uh, live at the time and uh, but we've had as you can see 265 views after the fact so people might have seen why well, started watching it because Facebook you can decide to post it as part of your regular video file and people went on and found it on the feed and, and viewed it. So that's one example. Uh, let me show you a couple others. Here was the Master Gardener. So this is, this is an example of, you'll see my video cuts right off, but um, I'm, I'm still at Ag Day. I approached some Master Gardeners uh, who weren't prepared for me and asked them if they'd like to be on camera. And they said no. Um, but they were beginning to tell me off camera with their voice what was going on when I lost my signal. So I just want to show you what this is like. Hi everybody, this is Michelle Walford and I'm broadcasting from Ag Day, which is about 11 minutes in. It begins at 10 o'clock and it lasts until 4 p.m. today. And I'm here at the Master Gardener area, which is always a very popular spot. The Master Gardeners have planned beautiful displays, educational displays, great for children, plants for sale, uh, absolutely gorgeous. So if you have- I wanna show you, I'm just gonna speed up a little bit here and show you how I approached off camera um, at permission to view somebody. It's gonna take a couple seconds to catch up. Not this one, okay. You can see we have herbs for sale. Okay. All kinds of goodies, look at that. So if you wanna cook rosemary, wow, look at all these herbs. Dill. Butterfly flower, cilantro, rosemary. We have a master gardener here. Fred, can I put you on camera? This is live on Facebook. No, thank you. We volunteer, but we don't always want to be on camera. Anybody want to be on camera? We have a master gardener that would like to be on camera. No? We have camera shy master gardeners, but they are very, very dedicated. Lemon balm, sweet marjoram. So we'll skip ahead. We don't want to force anybody to go live. But t you can tell me you're not on camera. Tell me about this. Um, how much hard work does this take to put together? And thank you for your. All right. So that stopped. She went on to, to describe to me, oh, you know, we grew these, where they grew them, how they put them together. So she was fine with talk, narrating it, but she just didn't want to be on camera. You heard her giggling. So people get nervous. You have to respect that. Then I lost the signal. Um, so 
that just kind of gives you an idea of, of how I approach um, people. I don't want to make, I don't want people to make enemies and if they're not comfortable, um, you know, you work around that. You, you, they're already volunteering. So you don't want to put people on the spot or make people, this is not what live streaming is all about. This one here is, is a, a gentleman who's a musician. He plays the hammer dulcimer. He had a YouTube channel because everybody thinks, oh, I have videos. I'm going to put them on YouTube. Well, he had like 150, 200 followers on YouTube. He didn't, his, his views weren't that um, impressive. He decides to go on, uh, do a Facebook Live, and it's gone up to 83 million views. 83 million views. And you will see he has someone He's working with a partner. Obviously, he's demonstrating something, so he has to have someone filming him. The person appears to be hand holding the camera, and they had some technical issues. And he's a little flustered, and he says so. I mean, it's completely natural. So, just take a look at this real quick. We're there. Yeah. Awesome. Sorry, folks, for the. Uh... Well, you know, technical difficulties. We uh, live out in the country and sometimes we have Wi-Fi signal and sometimes we don't and sometimes we have cell service and sometimes we don't. So anyway, so I got to calm down now because I'm all upset uh, that we had technical difficulties. He really was flustered. And you, I want right. you to pay attention to the quotes that are happening to the right. Hope you enjoy this. This is a little tears for fears. Everybody wants to rule the world. I played this once live and... Uh, decided it was time to give it to y'all too. So here we go. Here's somebody, now this is a young girl filming her father. He's a stitch, so listen to him. Guy. Hi, lovely people. Here I am in Shakespeare's Jeremy Darling. So excited because once a month, at least once a month, once Facebook a Alive. I don't know this. And behind me filming, I've got my lovely Katie. Yeah! <laughs> With all the chefs is here. First of all, let me show you how to make this fantastic, fantastic, delicious Gennaro Tuesday. It's only available once a week and it's five pounds. You cannot believe it's so simple to make. So simple, so good, thing. so delicious. So, first of all, we need some more and the best uh, can come I on. The restaurant. <sighs> That's that. Um, there's a lot of examples like that. Here's a young lady who um, she spends a bit of time adjusting her camera and she's going to be talking about nutrition but she asks and she outright asks for likes. Hey guys, so I'm going to get started. We're going to be talking about batch cooking. So let me see here. Just making, my, making sure my camera is stable. All right, if you guys are in here, um, give me some likes. Give me some like thumbs up. Tell me that you're here. Say hi. Tell me where you're from. And she's asking I will get started once we have some people very, rolling in here. In a very warm way. So again, today we're going to be talking about batch cooking meal prep and my top five tips for meal prepping really well. Hey guys, so I'm starting to see a bunch of likes come up. So if you're in here, comment below. Tell me 
you know, where you're from, um, how your day has been going. I got rained on. Nashville today has been like gloomy and rainy. Um, okay, so she goes on. So this is very homespun. This one here is it was an interesting one. Um, it's for some reason it's it's loading slow, but the reason and you could probably check him out, but he um, the reason I wanted to show his was because he really does a nice job of engaging people and recognizing people when they come in. However, if you, if you have a lot of people, that's going to be hard to do. Uh, then you, you spend your whole entire time saying hi and buenos dias to people, and you don't get to talk about what you meant to talk about. So that can be a double-edged sword. Um, so I've done some live streaming. So this one is I went to New Orleans for the very first time and went into Lafayette Cemetery in the Garden District in New Orleans, and I was taking still photographs. I had a box, I took eight one of these, I had three of them under my arm, so I had my camera, my pocketbook, a box of beignets, and I'm walking around in the cemetery, and I decided, you know, I ought to be live streaming this. So again, absolutely no thought, no preparation, no equipment with me, because I didn't pack to do live streaming. I didn't have any stabilizer. So you're gonna see the jitteriness now, what it looks like when you're walking and you're holding your phone. And sometimes I, I stay on a tomb and, and really give it a close up look. And other times I pan too quickly. And you'll see how frustrating that is when you see it. So this, this has some good things and some bad things about it. So let's take a quick look. Any tour guides or pamphlets? But these are all the above ground places of rest in New Orleans. They have to be buried above ground. Time hasn't been kind to many of them. Quite a lot of people in this one here. Some have completely fenced in. Some just have the fronts faced down kind of like a fireplace to set them off. Many uh, have a lot of vegetation growing out of the cracks. Lots of the marble or granite face plates have crumbled and fallen. I intentionally put so my part two, camera down when I saw people. I did another one earlier, so you can see it's a, quite a tourist attraction. There's lots of people here. And I'm going to wrap it up. But it's a, quite a fascinating place to, uh, to visit. This is Lafayette Cemetery in the Garden District in New Orleans. All right, so that was very short. That was part two because I did have, um, I had a signal break. I had done an earlier one, which was about two minutes long. So um, again, you see that jiggly jumpiness and that's from not having, um, you know, a grip or some kind of stabilizing pole that, that would help you. So that was the other one I did, which was 10, oh, excuse me, it was 10 minutes long. So quite a long time. In some cases, I panned way too quick, and other times did okay. So it's, you know, I'm constantly reminding myself to slow down. And so with that, that's, oh, I wanted to show you one other thing, and that was what Periscope looked like. So let me show you. This is Periscope. This is that um, sports agent that decided early on to, to just start showing scenes of New York at night. And oftentimes, he goes up on his roof. And he, he can he can see the um, Empire State Building, and he talks about who lives where, and he's sort of um, he's he's very entertaining to listen to. But he 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 scopes. I called him the Pope of Scope. He scopes. That's what Periscope broadcasts are called. He scopes really well. He has in six months' time gone up to twenty two million followers, and really all he does. He does the same, pretty much the same thing. He he goes wherever he is at night. He'll do walking tours or rooftop tours 
of the city he loves. And it's, it's, it's an exciting city. So people are interested in it anyway. So he has a built-in uh, captive audience. But I just wanted to sh hear what he sounds like. And you'll see that when people like him, um, you will see the hearts coming up. I want to just back this up here. Devin, wow, Devin, that's unbelievable. You're a survivor of the uh, shooting. I'm gonna refresh that. Okay. The Ola Cherry. We do indeed. Daniel, Elizabeth, thank you for sharing. Like, like, never forget indeed. Scope. You'll be there tomorrow morning. Hello, everybody. Tap on it. There's Boo. Like Hello, it. Crowley. Yes, impressive. Sorry if you have lag. That's because Periscope sometimes throttling the comments. Allah Akbar, peace for the world indeed. Hello, everybody. We're beautiful and you've never forgotten. I agree, Tara is terrible. Hola, Puerto Rico. Hello, Colonel Merv. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Judy. Hello, Spare Me. Hello, Bruce. Bruce, my newest fan is here. There you go, Mike. Another God bless America. There, don't worry about the lag. Enjoy the scope. Hello, Scotland. Lag thank you. Comments. Incredible. The 11. Thank you, Australia. Boa noite, Brazil. Glad you like this. Salam alaikum. My pleasure, Sean. We don't know what we. Uh, we Muslim, thank you very much. I'm great, thank you. How are you? Hello, Oklahoma. Ginny Lee, Val, thank you for inviting. No, I'm doing it today. <laughs> Twin Towers, indeed. There's Becky, hello. Bonjour, La France. Hello, Sun Lover. Dave, Bria, thank you for inviting and sharing. Please, there you go, everyone. Glad you're enjoying. All right, Bruce is going to be back. There you go, bored with this. The, there you go. The, yes, there's Screensaver, wonderful. New Orleans, hello. Beautiful sky. Hola, bonjour, Maroc. <laughs> Thank you, Colonel you Merv. You're welcome, Boston. Twin, uh, Twin Tower well. Light Nostalgia. Oh, excellent sugar drop. You've never forgotten. Oh, wow. <coughs> Bright lights indeed. Let me show you. Look where the lights go. Look where the lights go, people. Amazing. Thank you for the Muslims for praying. Oh, your uncle. So sorry to hear about that. Beautiful indeed. Merci de Francais. I see. There you go. I'm glad you think this is amazing. Great picture. I'm glad you're like, hello, Pittsburgh. He, he uh, connects. He connects his periscopes with his Twitter. Um, and then on Twitter, he asks people to send him screenshots. And he does a lot of engaging with his audience, which if you're trying to grow your brand and grow, then you, you have to engage with the audience. So you have to take the comments. You have to take them for what, it, it, many of them you will watch him, he'll, he'll be on there and he'll, he'll blast people away, people who are the, the, the trolls and he, he handles them really well. Um, and he just rolls with it. Agriculture, we're probably trying to promote something a little more wholesome. We don't, really don't want that. Again, that, that's the only, the only thing that you have to kind of figure out what you're, how you're going to handle that. He's a really great example if you want to, to, to know how to scope and scope well. And there's quite a few people who, who do it really well. And Ron's one of them. So with that, I'm going to open it up for some questions and see what we have. And I appreciate you joining us. And um, if you think it's uh, of interest to anyone who would be, be interested in getting to know, you know, how, how to uh, live stream, um, we, Women in Ag would appreciate doing that. And so let's go to some questions. Yeah, I for practices I just jumped in and did the best I could. I I stumbled a little bit. M my biggest errors were um, not having equipment to to when I was walking. A lot of that I did was uh, I had the camera in my hand and I'm walking. So having something to stabilize the camera was important. And the other thing is not lingering over what I'm talking about letting the camera soak that in would be really, really important. Those are the two things that I really learned. I've gotten a little addicted to, to, to some of the um, tools that are out there. And I'm really, really excited about that uh, Rode microphone for the iPhone, because in my case, I am going outside and talking with uh, farmers and people doing extension workers. I'd like to show people what we do. Um, and the wind can be really annoying to listen to and play back. So I'm really excited about using that plug-in mic with the dead cat to, uh, um, to keep the sound better. I would try to keep your feed uh, for a while, just a couple minutes. Um, if, you're, if you're at a big event, there's a lot happening. For instance, when, when I do the live feed, 
at the Women in Ag Conference in February, I just won't turn it on and go for an hour. I might do a couple minutes and then I might say, listen, uh, everybody, I'm going to sign off for now. I'll be back in a little bit when so-and-so comes up on stage or something like that. But I would keep them smaller, particularly when you're just getting started. Yeah. Um, that, that to me, that's the most important thing is the authenticity part of, of this. And again, I, I get tongue tied. My skill in communicating is not broadcasting. I will tell you that right off. I, I'm a, I'm a writer. I like photography. Um, but I wing it. I just wing it. And sometimes I'm better than I am other times. I, it's just, and that's going to happen with you. You, you, you'll get into a groove. You'll know what you feel comfortable with. It's important to, to live stream topics that, that you're familiar with and that, that you're comfortable with. Anything else? Do I edit my Instagram photos? Um, once I post them, no, I do. I put some, uh, I use filters. I mean, I use apps uh, for my photo photographs, but for Instagram, yeah, I do some that are right straight out of the camera and some I use. Uh, to me, photography is an art form, so I don't think there's anything wrong with dressing something up and adding, adding, it's your vision of what you took a photograph of. So I'm a big photo, you know, photo, photo app fan. So yeah, I do both. I do both. But uh, thank you. Or I guess we're a little over our time and join us on um, in February, February 9th for Women in Ag Conference. If you're on the East Coast, for those of you who are out of state, um, we uh, look forward to your comments and if you have any questions about, I'll just put up my screen information again. If you have any questions about this, that's how to get a hold of me. And again, if, if you get into this and decide you would like, uh, be glad to promote, glad to help. We all need to help each other out. So I'd be glad to do that. Um, you can also, there's a lot of great online resources. If you just Google tips for Periscopers, tips for Facebook Live, you will find tons and tons of them. Um, and they mostly all say the same thing I said here today. Um, think about what you want to do. Think about branding a little bit. Um, but the idea, the idea here, it is not meant to be a video. It's meant to be live. And so that's the difference. And that's something you have to decide whether you want to go that route or not. So there's my contact. And with that, uh, I will wrap this up. I would glad to stay on if anybody has any questions. Thank you so much.